Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the color of the navigation links in your Squarespace website. We can change the color of all of these links using the site styles menu and customizing the design in your header. But let's say you want the links in your drop-down menu to be a totally different color, or you want the login link on the mobile menu to be different than all the other navigation links. All of these custom colors can be done using just a little bit of CSS, and that's exactly what I'll teach you how to do in this video. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how these codes work so you'll understand how to use them. I'll also show you how to add these codes to an individual page in Squarespace, just in case you only wanna change the color of your navigation links on a single page. Feel free to use the timestamps below if you wanna jump ahead, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. When you hop into edit mode and select edit site header, under the edit design option is where you can change the color to adaptive so it matches the color theme of the first page section. You can also select gradient where you can change the navigation color and background color, or you can select solid and do the same thing. But I want you to notice that if I change the navigation color here, it's going to change the login link and all of the links here as well as my site title. And what we're gonna do in this tutorial are change all of those things separately. I'll go ahead and move this back to adaptive so I can show you here. If you hop into your site styles menu, select the color option and choose the color theme. Here you can also change the navigation link separately from the site title. But again, when you choose the navigation link color, it's going to change the color of the login button as well. So we'll still need custom CSS to change those separately. We'll go ahead and navigate out of here. And what I want to do now is select save and we'll select pages, website tools, custom CSS. This is where we're going to add our code. I will show you at the end of this tutorial how to add this to a single page. If you want to skip ahead, check out the timestamps below. The first thing I'm going to do is say header nav A. This will target any active links inside the header navigation. I'll open up a curly bracket and let's say color blue exclamation point important. And now only the links inside my main navigation have turned blue, including the links inside this dropdown. But check it out, the login button has stayed the same color. Now let's say you want the links inside your dropdown to be a separate color as well. That blue is really hard to read on top of that darker orangey red. Let's go ahead and change that. For those links, we need to target any active links inside a header nav folder content. So let's open up a curly bracket and let's make these a solid white. We'll say important and there we go. Now they stand out a lot more against that darker color background. So let's say you want to change the login link to something completely different. Let's go ahead and do that while we're here as well. That's going to be the user account text link and we'll open up a curly bracket and let's say color yellow exclamation point important. And now the login link has changed to a bright yellow. Everything's totally different. I'll select save and I've got one more thing to show you here before we add this code to an individual page. And that is your mobile menu. I'm going to open up the mobile view here and clicking this icon to open my mobile menu, you'll see that the user accounts text link has changed, but none of the other links did. We need to update those as well. Our mobile menu actually turns our main header navigation into folder content. So the code word here is header dash dash menu dash open. Then we need to say header menu nav folder content A, and then we'll open up a curly bracket and let's say color red exclamation point important. And now all of the links have become red. Because this login link lives in this brand new folder that was created when our mobile menu is open, we actually need to change it again. Inside the mobile menu, that user accounts link goes by this code name, so we can open up a curly bracket and how about we say color green exclamation point important, and now the login link is green on the mobile menu only. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll take a look at the desktop version. We'll see the blue links, the white links in the dropdown, the yellow login link. And then when we click on the mobile view and check out that separately, we've got different colors going on here as well. Lots of fun stuff to customize. So let's say you love all of these custom creations, but you only want it on a single page on your website. Let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this code from my site-wide CSS. We're gonna go all the way back to our website menu here and under our main navigation, I want you to select the gear icon for whatever page you wanna see these colors on for these links. Let's go ahead and click on the about page here and then we'll select this gear icon and under the advanced tab, 
the first thing I'm going to do is type a left caret and the word style followed by a right caret. What this does is create a style tag. You can have multiple types of code inside a page header, and we need to tell the computer this is a CSS code, a cascading style sheet. So I've added the word style between left and right carrots. All right, let's go ahead and put some space between those brackets. We'll paste our code right here and select save. And now we can see on this individual page, we have the blue links, the white links in the drop down, the login button is yellow. And on the mobile version here on this menu, we've got red links and the green link as well. But check it out, it's just on this page. If we go back to our home page, that's reverted to the standard setting we'd created using the site style menu and other design options built right here into Squarespace. Now to be clear, when you click on this gear icon and add it to your advanced page header code injection, this is reserved for business or commerce plans. If you're using a personal plan, you still have an option. Let's go ahead and select close and we'll hop into our contact page right here. I'm going to jump into edit mode on this contact page and we're going to add a block of code. This block of code will be invisible to anyone visiting the site. This is just for us. I'm just gonna place it here in the center of the page so it's easy to see. Let's double click on it and remove that filler text. We don't need that. And now the block is empty, it's blank, and we're gonna repeat ourselves. We're gonna do exactly what we did for our page header code injection. We said left caret, style, right caret. Then we added the code, and then we're gonna close it with left caret, forward slash, style, right caret. And now this block of code is rendering on this page, changing the colors of the things in the menu that we adjusted but only on this page because that's the only place this block of code exists. We'll select save and exit. And now you can see we've got those changes. If we click on the mobile version and open up our mobile menu, we're seeing those changes. But again, the homepage of our website is still exactly the same. That's only happening on this contact page because that's the only place that block of code exists. Now, if you do have a business or commerce plan, I recommend clicking this gear icon and adding it here into your page header code injection. But however you decide to install it on your website, just make sure you label it as a style code if you're using one of these alternative versions. If you're adding it under website tools, custom CSS, if you're gonna paste the code right here, this will be loaded on every single page. And the only type of code we add here is custom CSS code, so you don't need those style brackets. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to make this magic happen in Squarespace. Just make sure you update those color values so that they match the style of your own Squarespace website. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I can't include those left or right carrots for the style code. So I'll have a link to my blog post in case you want to copy it directly out of my blog. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments and definitely check out the related videos linked below because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.